Ford 8 in uh, generator to alternator and wiring. This is really simple. It looks very complicated. Look at all that wire. That's what you had to have for a 12-volt system. You had to have all, or a 6-volt system, I apologize. All this wire. And, and what that did was this, this generator ran up here, and of course, look at this, look at this menagerie of stuff up in here. Had a little block up there, all your wires came to, it's a hot block. Then you got your voltage regulator right here. Voltage regulator runs over to, you can see it inside there, way down deep inside there. There's a voltage regulator back in there. Let me get to this other side and I'll show it to you. On these six volt systems, the generator ran all the time and it had to have a regulator to regulate the voltage. There it is right there. You've probably seen these on your tractor. A lot of wires on them. You get one or two wires off, you got a uh, problem. When you change these old tractors over to 12 volt, which I recommend, it's a whole lot nicer, a lot easier. Starter spins a lot faster too. You don't have to replace the starter, by the way. You can have it rebuilt and 12 volt doesn't hurt it. I don't care what anybody says. I'm, I'm running a 12 volt system through a six volt starter on a 55 Ford truck for many years and I run it through all my starters and the guy that rebuilds my starter says it doesn't hurt them a bit. So hadn't yet. Uh, so don't go spend a lot of money on a 12 volt starter. You don't need it. Generator. You put a one wire alternator on here. So when you go to your auto parts store, they're about $30. One wire alternator with a built-in voltage regulator. You don't need the voltage regulator anymore. You'll have one wire that charges your battery now. So what you're going to do is, you're going to put your alternator on, and I'll show it all to you when I'm done. You're going to run one wire to your, uh, your voltage regulator up here. And then you're going to run one wire back down to your battery. And you can hook your switch in here too. I'll show you how to do all that. You'll hook your switch in in that circuit so it breaks the circuit. And uh, when you turn it on, it heats everything up. We're going to get rid of all this wire. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you before and after, and, and I'll explain the after when I'm done. I'm probably leaving something out. But what looks messy, uh, we're going to do away with all that. There's going to be one wire running down to your starter and one wire running to your uh, new alternator and all this other stuff is going to go away. Uh, simple as that. You'll, you'll have a wire going over to your coil, of course, but that'll be coming from your block up there in your key. Got to, got to heat your coil up. That'll be all the wires that's on it. Real simple, looks hard, looks difficult. If you're working on one trying to keep it 6 volt, then yes, sometimes they can cause you some problems, but uh, changing them to 12 volts very simple. Now you do, do have to buy some new brackets. These brackets will not work on an alternator. You can, however, I buy my parts through Allstate Ag Parts, you can buy an alternator kit that has all the brackets and the wiring for about 130 bucks. Which if you want to do that, that, you know, you don't have to make anything or, or fabricate anything. It's all there and, and actually it's not a bad buy. I fabricate my own stuff so uh, I just soon do it myself. But anyway, there it is. Going to make a 12 volt system uh, out of the six, and and have a few parts left over, and it's it's going to be a much more reliable, better tractor. Uh, that's about it. Thank you.